the power of words. And one word that we tend to use too often, and that's the N word. And um, my man Jonathan and me have been, we've talked about this several times in the show, but um, I want to start off with you, Jonathan, because um, I'm going to say the word, nigga. People seem to think that it's okay to use that word. And it's so prolific now among our young people. And I think that they don't understand the history of that word and why we should have a problem using it. But, you know, what do you think about that, Jonathan? Is it okay to use that word? Well, let me just say that <clears throat> Proverbs says, out of the mouth can come words of life and words of death. In other words, you can speak words of life to people, and you can also speak words of death and spread death around you. I, I see that word as a word of death. Mm. Um, historically, that word was the word that was used to brutalize, to torture, and to kill our foremothers and forefathers as they were struggling in the field. It was a word that never had any good meaning, and it, it, it was a word that sought our destruction and our, our death. Mm. And the word is drenched in the blood and the mm. suffering of our people. The second thing I want to say is that it's very interesting, though. I, I find it just very interesting. As massively and as, as, as much as that word is banded about, I don't hear other words that um, are um, in any way racial epithets of other people, like spick or, or other words that are used. It's very interesting. It's almost like we stop right there and we don't use other words. So there's something afoot here as to why we are the only ones on the planet Earth that allows this massive denigration. Um, and and I, I, I think... Um, so like you, like you wouldn't see a Jew go up and say, hey, kike. But, and not only that, Jew, mm -hmm. we wouldn't say it. Right. Like many, many of the young yeah. people that, and many of, the, many of our, so, our artists uh, 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 who, who, who speak in rap lyrics, well, they don't say it. E and even, you can even look at the situation with Michael Jackson when he's supposed to use that word in, in some lyrics and how he got in trouble. Hassani, would you agree with that? Do you think that we, we're just not sensitive and we haven't taught the younger people the meaning and the power of that word? I think that a lot of young people are detached from their history. They have no understanding of who they are. And if they don't truly know who they are, then a word like nigger is not as offensive to them as it would be to many of us here on this panel. You know, when I travel all over the country and I speak to young people about that word, I tell them, as Jonathan said, every time you use that word, you must understand that it has, it has been a word that has been used to dehumanize you, to demoralize you, to degrade you. And every time the master took a whip and cracked on the back of an enslaved Af African, he mm. called him a nigger. So whenever you say, what's up, nigger? Yo, you know you my nigger, right? What you're really saying is, what's up, slave? Mm. Yo, you know you my slave, right? And once you begin to explain in, uh, an understanding and give them a history of that word, it may s make them more sensitive to it. And in order for young people to stop using the word, you have to have more young people speaking out against it because there's such mm -hmm. a generational gap between uh, our people, you know, older and younger folks. And so if we have more young people representing the philosophy that we share here, it may you know, uh, trigger a spark amongst young people. Lloyd, you think it's a cultural issue? Because I know you speak to a lot of young people about these issues. Yeah, things. I think it's a cultural issue. I think along with the fact that we have to educate our youth about the word and what it represents, I think we also need to ed educate with them about the fact that it's symbolism. Symbolism has always been very important mm. to us as African people, and words are symbols. So if you use a word that represents something that's negative, you're spreading that idea or that concept around. And once you give them that, that um, that connection, then maybe they can see a little bit more about what we're trying to explain. But I know when we did a cultural workshop recently, we got into a discussion about that. And one of the young men, he was saying, well, it's really something that we use as a casual thing. It's my friend. And it wasn't until I really explained to them the things that were connected, like Hassani saying, the things that are connected to that word. And I, a lot of them, it was an older group, so I could speak plainly to them. And I talked to them about lynchings and castration and what was done to black men using that word and their mouths were wide open. They just hadn't really gotten the information as to what is connected to that word. So until we can actually give them the concepts of why this word is horrendous. And also we talked about the fact that even if you don't think it's disrespectful, if your elder tells you it's disrespectful to them, you should not want to use the word for that reason alone. Just oh, to come on now. Yo, isn't it just well, too much to do about nothing? Well, well, you use the word, so, so what? Why shouldn't, if we use the word, then it should be okay, right? Well, you right? Know, well, Maurice says that we use it. If I could, uh, if I could interject, um, I, I think it's, uh, I think the toothpaste is out of the tube. You know, uh, it's that word is used all the time now, and it, there's no turning back. 
I don't think we as um, you know, middle-aged folks, I guess we're all pretty much middle-aged here. Speak for yourself. Are ever going <laughs> <laughs> uh, to really stop, um, stop the usage of that word. Um, and also, I think that um, one thing that struck me, I saw, as, as probably many of you did, the slave narratives. Did you all see that on HBO? Uh, it's an excellent, um, uh, excellent piece. They had uh, uh, basically the slave narratives were uh, ex-slaves who recorded their thoughts in the 1930s. And they put it on HBO, and every other word out their mouth was nigger. Every other word, you know, master treated us niggers this way, and we seen all them niggers down there, and I mean, they used the word. But doesn't word. that tell you something about the psychological uh, programming that they had at that time? Yeah. See, they have an excuse. Well, it tells me they that. They have an excuse why. Yeah, but it also tells me that, um, I mean, we've used this word, you know, we, we all used it growing up ourselves. We all remember Richard Pryor saying, um, uh, you know, he stopped using the word when he made his trip to Africa and so on and so forth. So, um, I mean, it's always a word that's been used. It's used more now, and I personally don't like it, but I also know it ain't going to change.